let's take a look at the concept of flattening organizational hierarchy. Most people associate bureaucracy with a distinct vertical chain of command through which essential tasks are effectively coordinated. Tall hierarchies evolved out of a combination of criticisms and organizational factors present in many early bureaucracies. The principle known as span of control combined with task diversity and interdependence of activities to exchange the overall growth of tall hierarchy. The fact that higher level employees in nearly every organization were regarded as more professional than those at lower levels led to the tendency to differentiate between top and bottom in organizational structure. There's a growing complexity of internal tasks and expanded capabilities of internet communication and information technologies to connect with external environments. A flat hierarchy is one in which top management is conducted in a collegial board of directors fashion or all units below the highest level are regarded as hierarchical equals or both. An early example of a flat hierarchy was the commission system in some local governments, in which each commissioner was equal and the responsibility for mutual municipal leadership was shared evenly. Communication problems in a tall hierarchy is one of the more prominent differences between the two structures. In general, the more layers an organization has, the less likely it is for its messages to reach all levels and that they're understood. Obviously, these problems are greater in taller hierarchies and create the very real possibility that many employees will be alienated from organizational leadership. Finally, issues of centralization and decentralization are more pressing in tall than flat hierarchies. Flat hierarchies are not without their drawbacks. If organizational tasks become more diverse, there may not be enough flexibility in the structure among individuals and staff that are too closely crowded together. A second possible disadvantage lies in the existence of interpersonal hostilities on the same operating level of a flat hierarchy. Finally, flat hierarchies, particularly in smaller organizational settings, have some sort of chain of command. They could produce too many leaders and not enough followers. Neither structure is free from problems, and the choices that are made can predictably affect the life of the organization.